Okay, so this is Operation Put a Pit Guard on a Merlin. You need a Merlin. You need pit guard material. You need a pencil, scissors, paper. And your pit guard material needs to be thin and have sticky stuff on the back. All right. So all we've got is a scrap, though, so... Yep, <clears throat> that's all you need, though. I like to trace the scrap out on paper so I don't... I can work it out on the Merlin first. Mm -hmm. There. Now we don't think of a shape that we can make. Okay, so now you start to decide what kind of shape you're looking for with your pit guard. You know, where it needs to cover the most and how you want it to look. <laughs> I'm just trying to get a dent where the sound hole is. That way I can draw over here a little bit. Um, yeah, just kind of, you don't want it around the little black edges that they yeah, have. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And then from there we can kind of decide what we want. And it's got that little point out there, so you could follow that point or... So you're just drawing the outline of the Merlin I'm just now. getting a little yep. rough edge there so we don't... Go past. Uh, go past where there's actually a Merlin there. So, okay. Yeah, you can sort of see it on the paper. So, right. so you, <clears throat> and then we're just going to mess with it a little bit. Try to get an idea of something that looks interesting. Because why do it if it doesn't look interesting? Yeah, I like curl. that. Because see, look, it kind of would match the contour of this if you did that. A little right, like, loopy like thing coming out. Yeah. What do you think of that? Oh, I think that's pretty cool. Okay, so... We'll just cut but that out. But obviously we want to leave as much <clears throat> material well, I, here I, as we can. I also tried to cut it outside the, black outside line. the little yes. black line because, you know, you, you yes. want it to look like it was intended to be like this. Right, but I, I would like for this to have as much as I can because that's kind of where I'm going to be. Well, I think so, that'll be uh, our, our kind of layout there. So maybe not take as much of that out. I don't know. Okay. I'm trying to figure that out. Okay. Can you make that less I can. of a swoopy? Okay, I didn't mind my whole lot. Yeah, let's do a little uh, less of a swoop. Let's actually do more of a swoop to get more meat on it. There you go. That maybe round it a little. Maybe something more like that. Yes. And we'll come back here and round this off as well. Just slightly. You also have to take into consideration how thick your material is. And this pick material that we have is, I want to say it's 10 mil. I'll look it up and put it below. But yeah, that looks pretty cool to me. Right, so we're going to get a rough shape cut out of that. All right, so just cut out your shape and then we'll be back. All right, so the paper's cut out. We're just kind of looking to see what it looks like on instrument there. How's it looking? It looks like I need to take a little more of that out right there. Oh, I see Just it. a slight bit. Uh-huh. Just around that little uh, black border yeah. thing. That's right. And I had kind of drawn that line to start with, and then I second-guessed it. Boy, that makes it skinny right there, but it's that's okay. all you can do. The material's thick enough, it'll hold itself together. It'll be fine. Okay, so once you um, get it cut to your desired shape and sort of mock it up how it looks on the instrument, then you're going to want some double-sided tape. What we have here is this um, carpet tape, but, I mean, there's all kinds of double-sided tape. So you just want some double-sided tape. Check it up on the mock-up again before you tape it to make sure it's where you like it. What do you guys think? Will it look cool? <laughs> I think it's cute. Okay, yeah. So now you get some double-sided tape.
And is there still film on the top of that? There is. Okay. So, a lot of pit guard material will come with film on the top and the bottom. And the bottom, obviously, is sticky. But it's nice if it comes with that little piece of plastic on the top of it because you're not going to hurt the pit guard at all with your tape. This is the hard part, usually. Getting your tape to come apart. <laughs> yeah. Carpet tape can be a pain sometimes. Okay, there we go. Now you can clearly see the the tape that he's going to... That's just yeah. my to hold my template. That's all. You can do this with rubber cement. I don't think anybody uses that anymore, do they? I don't know. I don't either. Did any of y'all use rubber cement? Oh, you don't want to do that because then they're going to tear the paper. <laughs> That's done. That one's on there. <laughs> All right. It's on for life. All right. So now you've got it stuck good. You can start cutting. Of course, this is hard. You want to carefully do this. And so we'll be back when he's got it all cut out. Make the scissors go around the corners like that. So you just got to go real slow and take your time. And it don't have to be perfect because we're going to hit it with sandpaper when we're done. Okay. <clears throat> so what's the next step? Um, next step, I'm going to peel the the uh, clear coat off the top because that'll get rid of our plastic. We're going to check the look of it. And then we're going to run some sandpaper in here uh, to round off the little rough edges where I've cut it. Because nice. it'll, it'll, see, you're always going to leave little pointy pieces right. and stuff when you're cutting it because it's, it's thick. Yeah. So we're just going to roll it on a piece of sandpaper to get those edges round. Nice. And okay. that's all we're going to do. Yep. Peel and stick after that. But be careful not to peel your back off. Right. Because we're not ready to stick it to the instrument yet. This is hard. I've, well, I've it's hard because I don't have fingernails, too. Um, <clears throat> But this part's hard. I remember trying to do this, and it's, it's kind of hard to get that. You may want to use a pen or something or an uh, to knife. help you, you get that little corner up. Blade under it. Yeah. But once you get that little corner up, then you're good. Except now he's running into his tape. <laughs> it really <laughs> sticks hard. But yeah. Oh, we tore our plastic. We'll have to get another go at it on the other side. Let's and let me tell you, let's say you nick that uh, shiny black. <clears throat> let's say you nick it. A little bit like with a tool as you're doing something that happened on another one we were doing like on a dulcimer i say we you were doing it i did it. but it was on a dulcimer you, you kind of nicked it and you thought oh well, you're gonna have to redo it and I, I was like no just make the whole thing like that so what did you do you took sandpaper I took some uh, quadruple alt sandpaper i mean uh <laughs> steel wool and uh rubbed it down and it and made it wanna, matte you want to rub in little round circles all over it and mm -hmm. then back and forth again and then in little round circles all over it. And uh, you'll end up with a matte uh, pick guard, which actually looks it pretty cool looks and cool old. It on looks the old one fashioned. That, yeah, on the one that has it, it looks really kind of neat. So you, that's if you, you mess up and knock a little cut into your uh, pretty shiny piece there. Or let's say you've had this pick guard on a while and you get it all scratched up from your pick. And you think, what can I do? The next time you change the strings, just grab your little piece of steel wool Freshen and rub it, it over there. And it'll dull it all out and it'll be all the same. And it's kind of neat looking. It makes a neat little effect. This was some really sticky stuff. Sticky, I mean, really sticky stuff. Hard to remove. Okay. So that's what it's going to look like when... Yay! Oh, uh, that's, that's pretty cool, I think. My shadow is getting in the way there. Of the light. Oh, yeah, I like that. Sweet. All right, so sandpaper now.
Okay, now. So y'all y'all don't make fun of my special tool here, but I got a little aluminum tube that I've uh, sticky taped some stuff onto that uh, lets me get in the little cracks and, you know, round these things out a little better. So you just want to take off all the scratchy stuff a little bit? Yeah, you kind of just want to smooth it. Smooth out your rough part. And it's usually best if you're pulling away from your shiny side. Because if you push up, you'll get little pieces that stick up in the way. And again, remember that little hack of the steel wool. If you mess up, which you might, oh, you I'm can gonna fix mess it up. with the steel wool. <laughs> so once you get it sanded, you're going to notice that it's got some little fuzzy plastic pieces clinging all to it here and there. Just get a good set of sharp scissors and lay it at a nice angle and drag it around the top edges of it. And it will cut off all those little pieces that were uh, sticking out. <laughs> oh, that's a little better. How do we like that? Look okay. All right, I need to inspect it closely now. Any any irregularities yeah, or right weirdness? There and, and right there. Okay, the only one I see, like just right from there. this, uh, uh is the one that over here. Okay. Uh, I moved the camera, but like right around in here, there was a little funkiness. Yep. That's the only thing I saw. I didn't see the other one. Well, back to the sanding. And yeah, you come just. You do that until you like it. Right. It's yours. A lot better. Look all right to you? A lot better, yeah. I mean, you you, with somebody would have to be closely inspecting it. I think it looks good. All right, well, now the fun part, trying to get it in there with the strings on it. Yeah, you know, I make life easy. Yeah, I know. You, you do that a lot. I could just loosen them if you want me to. That's okay. I'm just going to slide it in there, and it's going to fit perfectly. let the chips fall where they may. We'll do it right. <laughs> Here, wait, wait, wait. Watch, I can really help out a lot. How are we feeling about that? I kind of can't see it through my glasses. You're going to have to do it because I'm too close to the camera. That's what happens when you're... No, don't touch it. Back up and see what it looks like. Sort of okay on there? Yeah. All right, well, I'm going to put it down then. Put that sucker down. Yeah, you should really, like, loosen your strings and get them out of the yeah, way. Yeah, you should actually take them off. It might be a little easier. I just restrung it. I didn't want to waste the string. <laughs> okay, there you go. One, Sweet! One Merlin pit guard. With a, why don't you put a fret in there while you're at it? Uh, because I don't want to, that's for another video, but okay, I have a good okay. reason. I have a good reason for that. <clears throat> we got a fret saw. You can do that yourself. No, I'm not. It's for a good reason. Okay. So it looks all right. I like it. All right. How's it look? Cool. I like it. Thank you.